Hello, welcome to my channel. Thought I'd pick up the camera and vlog a bit today. Hopefully I can get some vlogging footage in. Um, we're planning to go to Houston. We're not that far away, about like 40 minutes I would say. Today's a perfect day since it's really nice out. It's gonna be like 80 degrees, very humid, but nice out, like it's not raining or anything like that. It's not cold. So that's what's on the agenda for today. I wanna try a new coffee shop called Fit the Vessel. It seems there's a, actually a, quite a few in downtown Houston. There's Fifth Vessel, then there's Day Six Coffee Co. or something like that, or Sixth Day. Um, they both seem really cool, but I want to try Fifth the Vessel today. Hopefully, maybe take the kids to the zoo or something. Maybe go to a garden. I don't know. We'll see. We haven't like 100% planned it. We're just like, hey, let's go to Houston today because it's nice out. I think I'm gonna curl my hair today. I have this T3 interchangeable barrel curling iron which is nice because then you don't have to have like three separate curlers this is the smallest one i believe it's like an inch and a half and then you get there's like a medium one and then a larger barrel which is great for like super loose waves but this one's nice if you have shorter hair i've had it for some time now and it's pricey but i would recommend it it's just so nice because you don't have to have like three separate curling irons i'm just waiting for it to get hot then the quality i would say the well, quality is definitely there but just gonna give my hair a quick curl. Usually I use, let me use a heat spray. This is what the hair looks like before I brush it out. I am gonna brush it out, I just kinda want it cool down a bit. And then once I brush it out, it just ends up being like very, very loose curls because my hair doesn't hold a curl well. So that's just kinda what I end up with. But I think today I'm gonna use the Lancome Taunt Dull Ultra Wear Karen Glow Foundation because this wears so beautifully throughout the day and not just that product sits beautifully on the skin on top of this foundation and um i've just come to really like it like at first i was like oh you know it's nice it's okay but i've been using it almost every single day now i just did a video review on it if you guys want to check it out i have these little clips that i never use i got them on amazon and i was like oh yeah i'll totally use them not really but they're nice to have i guess because now that I have them, I can use them. All right, and then I have this Haley's brush here. Absolutely love. Oh yeah, I'll try to take the camera along. We've never been to Houston, but we're in the area and it seems like there's a lot to do. We will obviously won't get to explore everything, but just kind of maybe hit up something for the kids. I haven't figured out what yet, like I said, and I do still have a cold sore, it's like, it's gone but now it's in the like the last phases of it, it gets dry and then it um, scabs over and then it cracks and it's like a whole thing it's just not fun but at least it's not like painful now and not like hurting and throbbing here's the finish of the foundation i mean look how nice this is it looks like my skin still looks really healthy it has um hyaluronic acid mandelic acid i believe and some spf <laughs> Yeah, cool. I'm gonna have to put your hair in a ponytail because it is so humid outside. Yeah, I, cool. I, yeah, it's like really humid out. Um, this girl has such long hair. Must be nice. She's like little Rapunzel over there with all her hair. We're gonna put it in a ponytail because it is I so look humid out. I look a bit silly because of these little. I look like a little 12 year old girl. Not even <laughs> like an 8 year old or 10. <laughs> all right, makeup is basically all done. Here's a bit of a close up. A little bit of bronzer. I don't usually go too, too extreme in my makeup. I'm, it's like pretty basic, you know, nothing crazy. I've been loving the NYX Brow Glue Gel and then the NYX Brow Pencil in Cool Ash Brown. I feel like it's like a nice, cool color. I might have to tweak this one a little bit because I feel like it's kind of driving me nuts. But my husband's making breakfast now, so we're going to have some breakfast. I already had my first latte of the day. I bought these cute little cups. They're actually teacups from Amazon, they're like, I think they're ceramic, but look at how beautiful, they're, they have this texture to them. I got the set of purple and blue. They were so gorgeous in my opinion. And they're the perfect size, because they're six ounces. I like my latte drinks to be, not have a lot of milk. So I'll link these down below, because I think they're just so nice. Um, so I'm not gonna make another latte, I'll just, since we're gonna be going to a coffee shop, hopefully, um, and take you guys along with that. So I'm gonna brush up the hair, get the kids ready, all that fun stuff. 
was originally gonna wear these dress pants from H&M, but it's so humid, I'm thinking I'm to go with shorts. I'm gonna wear these here. These are the Puma Super Ligas I got on Amazon, and then this Pumi bodysuit from Amazon as well. Really nice, so I have like these pads underneath because I have to wear pads with it. But I know black would match better, but I'm like feeling the blue shorts for some reason. I don't know. All right, you guys, here's the OOTD. My dilemma is I wanna look cute, but at the same time, I prefer being comfortable a lot more. <laughs> So believe it or not, these pants are actually much more comfortable. They're like super light, even though it's humid out. They're super light. Um, the jeans just felt kind of restricting, especially since it's that time of the month, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and then I have them on with these kicks. So it still looks um, like dressed up, but super casual and comfy. Sitting in the car, waiting for Vadim, like usual. No, I'm just kidding. He's trying to take care of some RV stuff. We have solar panels on the RV. And then with the wattage, he's not happy with like the input, the output. I don't know. So he's like calling the company trying to find out what's going on. But I'm thinking to put a cap on because it's super windy out and I hate when my hair is blowing in my face. But at the same time, then I just feel like I did my hair for no reason. Yes, no. Do we do a cap? Do we not? Will we wake? First Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life We did finally end up finding a parking spot. We parked at parking lot E for those of you guys wondering because there's like a smaller parking lot right across the street from the Butterfly Conservatory and it's like very minimal parking there so we circled it around a couple times and then just like said screw it. These are not ducks. These are not ducks. I've never seen a duck look like this in my entire life. There's no way that's a duck. What is that? Thank you. Don't touch it, Sanka. Don't touch it. Eloisca, do you have a butterfly on me? Wow. They love me. any butterflies really sit on me other than my leg but so many beautiful butterflies so that's the conservatory right there Aviana really wanted to visit the King Tut's tomb but we wouldn't have enough time it closes at 5 I think 
um, so we might come back another time, we'll see. So there's the conservatory, and then this is the parking lot we circled, or the ring we circled tons of times. That's the parking lot for three hours. I ended up not finding anything there, so we parked somewhere like down there, which is not that far of a walk, honestly, it was like five minutes. And then this area looks super nice, I don't know what this is. It almost reminds me of the Washington Monument, right? Is this supposed to mimic that? I don't know if you can hear me from the wind, but it's so nice here. It says Pioneer Memorial in honor of Pioneer Men and Women of Houston. This looks like such a fun thing to do. I can feel the mist from the spout hit my face from the wind as the wind blows and it feels so nice and refreshing. I keep saying this, but it's so beautiful here. After looking on the map, I think this is called Herman Park. And it looks pretty big, but it's really, really nice. Like great for walking around, sitting, hanging out. It's so beautiful, especially today. I feel like it's just look at all this poop here from the birds. Other than the poop, it's really, really nice here. I believe this is Main Street. We're gonna walk a couple blocks up to Shake Shack, grab some burgers and fries. No limit to what we can do. We decided to stop at this little park here. I'll try to write the name of it. So cute. You took your socks off? You gotta put your shoes on though. She had socks on. This is called Market Square Park. Mama, so I do not like this park. Well, it's not like a playground park. It's a park park. We're just sitting here, rocking away, hanging out. Look how pretty this is. And you got the sounds of the birds. The sounds. The sound of the birds. It almost feels like you're not in the city in this little square right here. So nice. Wow. It is actually the next day. I'm sitting here editing the footage that I have. Figured I'd close out the video today because, or like do an outro today because by the time we got home yesterday, it was like late, it was dark. So I'm like, I'm just gonna close it out in a separate clip. Yeah? Hold on. Let me go get her her helmet. They made like some friends. It's This RV park is nice because they have their little friends here. Since we're not the only young family, there's like actually quite a few families with kids. So it's been really nice to have like their friends to hang out with. On the way home yesterday, we stopped by a few stores. Stopped by Walmart and I saw Nicole Guerrero post about this lip gloss situation here. It's from CoverGirl, their Clean Fresh line. It's called their Yummy Gloss. I got the one called Acai You Later, I think. Yeah, Acai You Later. And it looks purple, like this purple acai color. Acai, I don't know how people pronounce it. I say acai. Acai, watch well, it be like acai. And I don't know, I never thought I would like like a purpley gloss, but this one's really nice. Almost feels a little tingly, unless it's like my imagination at first. But it smells nice. I'm not sure what's in it. it. Smells very fruity, almost like a Starburst candy or something. And it gives like this very, it's not like purpley, but definitely approve of this purchase but anyway back to the topic of houston we really had a good time we only explored like one percent of houston it's such a big city i think it's the most populous city in texas if i'm not mistaken um and then trying to vlog as you're like walking and doing stuff and not trying to get other people in your video it's like it requires a lot of talent and dedication now understand why most vlogs are just like people talking about the situation i try to show what i can as we're out and about. I didn't capture as much as I had hoped. So I'm looking back, I'm like, mm, I don't know, it seems kind of boring. But you know, I just kind of wanted to capture our day and exploring Houston a bit. We would definitely go back. There's like so much to do with so many museums, things to do for kids. Um, we're thinking to visit Moody Gardens. We did go to Galveston. We took the ferry across when we stayed at um, Bolivar Peninsula. And we visited Galveston for the day. We didn't get to visit Moody Gardens because by the time we were done with one of the museums, the gardens were already closed. They have a discovery garden, I think, a rainforest one. So we were like walking around after hours after it closed and 
there was a worker there and we were like talking to her while my husband was talking to her and she said the rainforest one she would probably recommend most oh my husband just turned off the lights because he's doing something outside with the rv and then the third one is the aquarium so they have aquarium discovery i think and then the rainforest ones i'm sure it's very similar to like the butterfly one where it looks like a conservatory situation with like a rainforest in there but i think they have monkeys in there too so that'd be really fun for the kids and i had no idea but galveston i was looking up um like things to do in Galveston and then I came across red light district tour which when you think red light you know you think red light district so supposedly Galveston was like a mob run city during the roaring 20s of sorts and then they had their red light district and it has like a whole history behind it and like the casinos and everything and I was like I had no idea but it does have a lot of history in Galveston I will say that so we do want to visit Galveston again since it's like half an hour 35 40 minutes from here but yeah, I just kind of wanted to take you guys along our day visiting Houston overall it was fun we had fun I hope you guys enjoyed watching thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys very very soon